Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this another brand new day. Yes, indeed, a brand new day wherein those of you watching are hopefully still alive. That's a good thing. It's good to be metabolizing in some fashion. It's good for your brain to be functioning. That's a definitely a positive. And it is. It's good for brains to function. Which, as a reminder of brain and function and all, it's like, just, you know, if you damage your brain, you're going to damage your mind and personality because mind is a function of brain. So if you damage or change the brain, <clears throat> you're going to change the mind and the function because it's, you know, a byproduct thereof. So... Don't know where I was going with that, just thought I'd mention. I was thinking about that the other day, and then I watched this. I watched Because Science, I think it's called, with this fellow named Kyle. He's a, like, person. And I don't even know what he does. But he has science stuff, and he does science things. And he's interesting. He's different. He's an interesting individual. So if it's like, if you look, see, Because Science, then that, that would be cool. I mean, you don't have to, of course. And then last night, I did a short walkies around town. Didn't go the whole Walmart route. My knees are... Some days they're A-OK. -okay. Some days they are not. Hokey smokes. Last night was a not going to make it a six mile round trip thing. I started off making that extra loop which adds a mile onto it if I go to Walmart, so it's a seven mile round trip instead of a six mile round trip. But once I got halfway through the loop and heading down back into downtown Shelton, I realized my knees ain't gonna be able to do this one. I'm not even gonna be able to do a six mile round trip, let alone a seven mile round trip. <clears throat> So I just walked to the post office, walked around to the Safeway, and then swung on back and around, and then walked through the downtown part of Shelton, and then back up into southern Shelton, and oh my god, my knees hurt so much. It was so hard getting up and down the stairs whenever I had to go up and down the stairs, which, since my bathroom is downstairs, is... I got active kidneys. So, a lot of traveling and hokey smokes. That was painful. Life is life, though. You got to do what you got to do. And even though I couldn't make a full six or seven mile round trip, at least I... Two miles? Two miles? Two miles and some for the whole round trip up and then downtown and back. It's cool. Ah, get you knows. I just... Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, my webcam is showing nothing for the microphone. So I'm worried. I'm actually going to stop and then possibly start again. <laughs> So yay, even though it was showing no microphone chosen to take sound, it was still recording, so I gotta remember that it's about 16 minutes and 30 seconds is when I'm gonna have to, to stop, so, oh boy. That's a lot of mental arithmetic. It's going to be a short vlog today because I'm not going to be able to, to get this properly done. Ugh, math and joyous software deciding, hey, I'm just not going to work properly. And, you know, you'll, you maybe find out about it. Such is life. Usually I do a sound check, so I didn't this morning. I just started and I, I was foolish. I would have noticed that if I had done a sound check, but I didn't. It's been that kind of day. I was up 5, five oh something and then took a shower. And you'd figure I'd be awake because right now it is 8.01 a.m. It's been almost three hours I've been up and out of bed. My brain is still barely functioning. I am sorry. I even tried to go to bed early. 
Ah, oh, and I still am so far behind on sleep and my brain is not functioning. It happens, though, part and parcel with chronic pain and chronic pain-related insomnia. Oh, joy. And then, of course, though, my hamsters are all asleep. Little Gojira is asleep. And little Saber and Figmo and little... I keep calling him to call him Dumpster Fire. I don't know why. I, I think I was going to say Dumpster Fire. But he's not. He's little Dust Mob. So that that's weird. He's sleeping. And then over against the wall, little Dr. Snurf is sleeping. And he's good. They're all happy and friendly and alive. And that is a good thing. Ooh. I really dislike it when they die. But, you know, I don't really have a say in the matter. And all I can do is be glad that I got to share their lives for the short period of time that they're with us and try and make their lives as happy, friendly, and fluffy. Well, don't make their lives fluffy. They're busy being fluffy. But make their lives as pleasant for them as possible. They deserve it. Definitely a thumbs up. <clears throat> it's not that they're sweet and wonderful and and friendly and awesome by nature i mean they're hamsters they're rodents they need to live they're wild animals they happily you know grab bugs and eat their heads and then the rest of them they murder and slaughter each other if they come across each other and then eat each other once they've killed the other one so it's they're not happy and friendly they're wild animals but they're just so awesome and cute and fluffy and and they're just they're just little balls of derp and it's awesome not all rodents are little balls of derp i mean rats they are awesome i like rats they are very smart affectionate little beasts and i've really liked the rats i've had in the past it's been a very good thing but they're they don't act like like hamsters hamsters act like hamsters i mean that's no matter what there's they should have that kind of tuba soundtrack you know boom 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 whenever they're walking around because they're just they waddle and their backsides flop all over the place and they're undignified and they try to run and escape and you can grab them so easily <clears throat> they're just they're little derp maniacs and it's it's a good thing so thumbs up for that <laughs> past that though i just went walking and not much more and before that i just made videos and that was good definitely a thumbs up it got was a later day <coughs> excuse me a later day than normal yesterday so the way th things were working with the way I had to record and then making my third video of the day. Usually these days I've been finishing with all the video stuff right around 2, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and then from then on it's my time. Yesterday I finished up like 5 o'clock, so it was really, really late, and but that happens. You know, and now today is going to be late because I just can't get my brain functioning. But things are working, and that's okay. It is a good thing. I mean, at least as far as I can function, <laughs> which which isn't much. So yeah, with the combination of the not knowing how to do, when to time things, I'm just going to call this one a really really short one. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read them later. Answer as many as I can. Thumbs up each one I read. But for right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Good comment, bad comment, and different comment. The fact is you left a comment. Thank you very, very much. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're just not good at that. I do have an itchy nose, though. And 
It is a range of 20 to 25 because even though I count in American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand, uh, you see me and hear me lose track of what I'm talking about several times a sentence occasionally. So I do the best I can, which sometimes ain't that good, but we're only human. Never be too hard on yourself. We are only human. Now, let me call my groan. <laughs> I had to get that segue in for the, am I pointing with the right hand for that thing? Hopefully. Anyway, Russian timing, thumbs up and thank you. And then has to, thumbs up, greatly appreciated. Yeni94, thumbs up and thank you very much. Ern Grung, thumbs up and good to see you in the comments again. Ice Damon, greatly appreciated. Hunter Farah, greatly appreciated. And Confused Owl 29 Keep on working with those songs on your own there too. You're doing a very good job. I like those. Underscore Cherry, thumbs up and thank you. Mfasi, thank you very much. James Games, I sure hope I pronounced that correctly. Thumbs up and thank you very much, not Minch. Exile from Crown Hill, thumbs up and thank you. And Kathy Kitzkat, greatly appreciated. We have Robert Schmidt, thumbs up and thank you. Marcella, greatly appreciated. Sebastian Ferris, good to see you in the comments, of course. Nick Wilde and Judy Hotz, thumbs up and thank you. And Mika Mach 5, good to see you in the comments, definitely a thumbs up. Adrian Bryant, greatly appreciated. Bone Train, thumbs up. And then we have M. K. Usaka 1613, thumbs up and thank you very much. And Nancy Sweeney, always good to see you in the comments. And Lang Anderson, greatly appreciated. Osmosis Jones, I like that name, very cool. We have Reverser Plays, thumbs up and thank you very much. And last but not least, Jackie Marie, greatly appreciated. Each and every one of you, you get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, and that is a good thing a very good thing especially when you're depressed and you're not on medication which is me I can't afford it I don't know what I'm gonna do I can't afford much of anything right now so yay definitely a thumbs up if you can check out my various links I have Twitter Facebook GoFundMe Patreon Patreon.com nearly senior citizen.com if you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people that would be beautiful and awesome but if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate I do take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest so thank you very much if you could toss me a like I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence a definite thumbs up and of course if you could subscribe to the channel that would be very cool greatly appreciated I would understand if you did not wish to I mean but if you are down with it I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time with my random vlogging my occasional weird skit my song mutilations my game let's plays and i'm going to be doing my short story readings here very soon i'd still like to get a podcast going what are the odds of it i don't know probably not good but i do want to try i still have a radio type play skit i want to get done i got some almost year old walkies videos i need to get done i gotta find my charging cord so I can charge my camera so I can get more walkies videos done. Oy vey, there's a ton of stuff I gotta get done and well, I need to get it done. So hopefully I will. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. I did, yeah, my, that's with with my intros and outros, it's like I think they're 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 kind of nice. They're friendly and happy and wholesome. And did Mr. Rogers change the intro to his kid show, you know, for decades, or did he see, keep it roughly the same? So I don't know. As long as it's happy and friendly and wholesome, then maybe they should just stay the same. Thumbs up. Take care, and I will see you on the flip side.